Our next segment, we have Vinita Agarwal, who's a poet, translator, and curator. She is the author of four books of poetry and, um, and an editor of an anthology on climate change, uh, as well as um, an editor uh, in a couple of uh, literary magazines. Uh, and she is. Uh, she has curated uh, several programs for Penn at Prithvi in Mumbai. Over to you, Benita. You're muted. You're muted. Thank you very much for bringing us all together on this very very poignant occasion on remembering Manglesh Dabralji. And I feel very small right now to offer my tributes to him because uh, I met him only once, but even that was a very memorable meeting that I had with him. Uh, and I've, I have to thank Ashwini because he had organized his literary fest at TIS, which is where I met him. And I remember I was translating Fez uh, at that time and I, I requested him, uh, you know, I asked him if he would read the manuscript and he very readily agreed. Uh, but my translations took their time and several months passed. And then I uh, contacted him again on Messenger, to which he replied again and said that, please send me the manuscript, I will read it. And now I've taken a screenshot of that conversation that I had with him and that's all that remains. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's a very big loss to the literary world uh, that he's no more with us. But like all of you said, and, and and we all believe that he, his memory and his poetry and his beliefs will always live on. Uh, I also wanted to remember Manglesh Ji through, this, uh, through the mention that Stephen Alter makes in his book, Wild Himalaya. It's a very significant little uh, passage that Stephen Alter dedicates to Manglesh Dabralji, who is apparently, I think, his friend also, because Manglesh Dabralji was also from Gadwal. And the book is about the mountains in Tehri and the Himalayas and everything. So I'd like to quote that passage briefly. Um, Stephen Alter writes, Manglesh Dabral, a distinguished poet of Garhwal, has composed a brief elegy to the Himalaya, titled in Hindi, Abhi Bhi Aag Hai, which translates as a fire still burns. In nine short lines, he speaks of origins, loss and memory, survival and defiance. In these tombs, a fire still burns and history too. A house will be built from them, retaining a wall. For fields, one more battle will be fought soon with these stones. So he takes the very innocuous stone from a piece of nature to something that fights for nature once people gather and you know protest against the dams and all the uh, destruction that's happening in the name of development. And there's another, another passage in the same book where uh, he writes about uh, Manglesh Dabralji telling the story of Gunanand Pathak, a Marxist folk singer who used to perform on the streets of Tehri, singing to the accompaniment of his harmonium and distributing revolutionary tracts and pamphlets. At the end of his life, unappreciated and ignored, Gunanand abandons his music and Dabralji uses the simile of a forgotten folk song to suggest that like Gunanan's verses, even the town of Tehri will eventually fade from memory. So I find these uh, mentions and the, and the fact that Manglesh Ji spoke about nature in such an intimate and in a, in a manner that he really understood, he really knew what he was saying. I find that very, very remarkable. Uh, I've chosen to read his poem titled Antaral. It's a very short poem but it's very powerful. So here goes. Hara pahad raat mein sirhane khada ho jata hai. Shikharo se takrati hui tumhari awaz silan bhari ghati mein girti hai aur beethte drishyo ki dhund se chhan kar aate rehte hai tumhare deh varsh. Patharo par jhuki hui ghas ichhao ki tarha अजस्त्र झरने एक निर्गंध मृत्यु और वह सब जिससे तुम्हारे शरीर जिससे तुम्हारा शरीर रचा गया है लौटता है रक्त में 
फिर से चीखने के लिए I'd like to read one of my own poems, which uh, resonates in some way uh, to the poem that I just read. My poem is titled, We Will All Depart. We will all depart, crouched in winds for whom we are dandelions. We will depart, rich with the taste of all our loves, our mouths still tasting the kisses that burst our lungs, and tore our hearts from whole to halves. We love the wrong names, yet enter them like rivers drowning. I want to be drowned in a name when I depart, drowned like time in the dark, or a face in a tribe. We will depart and our nails survive beyond the end, keratin relics of our fears, crescent with the dead skin of moonlight, shiny with the sheen of many slippery nights. How long is in orbit? How long a year in exile? How long a day in pain? How giddy the trajectories of planets? How worn the earth's heels from the constant running? We will depart and never need to dwell on the answers. Glide like geese in the oiled sky of dawn. A silent journey, a gentle pickup, our minds opening like dicotyledons, knowing space. Perhaps some of us will float back to earth like a leaf. Some return like great oak wood trees. Some shine like a star outside an open window. Some not here, not there, just scattered like dandelion in the winds, forever free. Thank you very much, Anjali. Very beautiful, Vinita. Thank you, Anjali. Thank you. And thank you for putting this together. It's very, very meaningful. Thank you. For being with us. You have really spoken from the heart and it's touched ours. Thanks. Thank you. Vinita.